Yo, what's going on everybody? To a another day in beautiful Mad City here. In fact, wait, this is night. Whoopsies. So in tonight's video, what we actually do is compare the Fury versus the Halo. As you may know, they are both three million dollar vehicles. So yeah. Now before we get into it, make sure to smash that subscribe button as it really does help the channel out. And also leave a like on the video because why not? It literally takes two seconds of your time. And join my Discord server as we are going to be doing a 5,000 Robux giveaway once we reach 5,000 subscribers. And we are currently doing a 2,000 Robux giveaway. So that's fun. Right, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so recently I have actually been asked a lot whether or not you should get Halo or Fury. So believe it or not, these two vehicles are actually my most used vehicles. So I use Halo very often and then I also use Fury very often as they are both my two favorite vehicles. So the they are both 3 million which is probably why I've been getting so many comments to do a Halo versus Fury video. Fury video. So, first of all, we're going to go over the locations. So, with Halo, it's significantly easier to access through a helicopter, but it is just in there. So, as you can see, this vehicle there, go into the top of the mountain. There is a hole at the top of the mountain and that's how you get into it. And then the Fury is over this way in this small little town over here. There is a dealership with the Aston Martin or the Firestorm, the Bugatti or the Nero and the McLaren or the Fury just in here. Oh yes, and also the Avenger. So as you can see, right here fury is over here a mclaren 720s so that is the location of these two vehicles if you didn't know both of them are three million so the first thing that we're going to be going over is speed all right so first we'll be speed testing the halo in this strip right here so three two one start so keep in mind the Fury does have Nitro, so I will be doing a Nitro version, a Nitro speed test of the Fury and a non-Nitro speed test. So the Halo got 10.89 seconds, so we are going to remember that, and now we will do the Fury. Right, no Nitro in 3, 2, 1, start. So this is no Nitro, so I will be doing another one with Nitro as uh well you are going to use nitro but sometimes you will take them out of nitro and stop so 11.20 so 10.89 to 11.2 with both of them without nitro so now we will do a nitro speed test three two one go <clears throat> so nitro is actually significantly faster than it used to be, which is good. Stop. 7.99. So basically 8 seconds. So the Halo got 10.89 seconds and the Fury got 11.2 seconds and 8 seconds. So the average of the Fury is around about 9.5 seconds, which is a second faster than the Halo. So, the Fury is indeed faster. But now, let's talk about handling. So, first of all, we're going to be looking at the Fury. So, the Fury handling is actually really good. It's fun to drive around quick and snappy around corners. And, obviously, well... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good vehicle for handling. It has really good handling. And so, 
yeah, well, that, well, that's basically the handling of the Fury. Uh, this, this is basically just summing it up, there's not much said about it. Then, on the other hand, the handling with the Halo is extraordinarily different. Extremely tight turns. That was a terrible example. Extremely tight turns, not needing to slow down for turning and not having the risk of drifting out. So that is a big bonus about the Halo. Am I able to make it out of here? Yeah, I am. Cool. Uh, so that is a big bonus about the Halo that you don't actually really have to slow down to turn. It just makes life so much easier. If you want to go into like small rows like that, then you probably are better off slowing down. However, with most other things, you don't really have to slow down to turn. And it also has incredible acceleration. So the next thing that I want to talk about is actually acceleration. So the thing is, is that the top speed of Halo, it got buffed. Uh, the Halo has been through quite a lot, which you probably know about. But the top speed actually got buffed. And so it is worse than what it was when Chapter 2 first came out. However, it still isn't an extremely quick top speed. It's more about the handling. However, the acceleration, on the other hand, you're literally at your top speed in a second. So even if you do slow down in a corner, which most of the time you actually do as you are shifting the gravitational pull, of the actual board when you are turning it so you do slow down you're back at top speed in under seconds if we compare that to the fury which we are actually going to do a top speed test now so i can show you then you can turn around those a bit with but you have to slow down for things like that and then it takes a while to get back up to top speed so as you can see there i think we barely made it to top speed along that road. Yeah, see, exactly, we're still accelerating when we reached that point. However, with Nitro, you actually get a boost. So, if, let's say this was sharp corner, so if I just want to stay on the road here, then I could do that and then boost and be up to a higher speed. So basically, that's why the Halo, I believe, doesn't need boost. But then we have top speed. So if we're going places like within the city, the Halo is basically 100% of the time faster. However, for top speed, it's much slower, which basically means that if you are going from places like the prison to the criminal base, then I'm just going to put my dear world real quick. Then you are going to be able to get there faster in the Fury than the Halo. But if you are going to a place like the casino, for instance, then you are going to get there faster with the Fury from Chrono Wave 7, so it's 3, 2, 1, start. And stop, so 42.31 seconds, so now we're going to do the exact same thing with the Halo. So remember the Halo without Nitro was faster in the acceleration test. Three, two, one, stop. Forty seven seconds so there you go that basically just shows that well the halo is has a slower top speed and especially that you can use nitro 
with Fury as well, it also makes that a drastic difference. So next we're going to talk about practicality, which is sort of obvious, the Fury has two seats, Halo has one. So, what I think is that if you have friends that you play with a lot, get Fury. If you just play by yourself, get Halo. If your friends have Fury or Nero, or something like that, get Halo. So, if you can basically just drive around with your friends and be in the passenger seat instead of driving, then get the Halo, as the Halo is probably the best buy for a solo player, as it's smaller, fast turns, more agile, better acceleration, whereas the Fury is way slower acceleration, less tight turns, relatively big compared to the Halo, and yeah, so that is my sum up of the Halo versus Fury, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one, bye!